you guys. Whoa! Oh, Aiden, why do you keep doing that? Wow, really appreciate my new lens. You guys look really good in them. Speaking of lenses, Matt, are there cameras without lenses? Uh, oh yeah! There's something called pinhole cameras, and it basically uses a small tiny hole instead of a lens. Tiny hole? How does it work? How about we make one to find out? Come, follow me. Okay, so first, we gotta use this box, and we gotta stick a nice white piece of paper on this side. Next, we cut a hole on the opposite side. But isn't that dangerous? Ah, but that's what the adult is for. Time to get to work. Next, we attach aluminum foil. So, you know what's next? We need a pen. Oh! Uh -huh. We're gonna use the pen, and we're gonna poke a small little pinhole. Just like that. All right? Goodbye, pen. Another day at work. Now, guys, we need to tape up the box to make sure no light goes inside. And voila! You have your very own pinhole camera. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, how does this device work? It's pretty simple, actually. Light travels from a distant object towards the screen through the pinhole. Because light travels in straight lines, the resulting image is upside down, left to right. This is similar to how our eye works. An upside down image is formed on our retina. The pinhole camera was the world's very first camera. Early users would trace the image and paint over them to create pictures. Wait, but the pinhole camera sees the image upside down. So, why don't we see them upside down? Well, you can thank our brain. You see, our brain takes the upside down image on the retina and flips it around again so that we see it the right way up. I didn't know that.